friends, this is Sridhi. Hi friends, this is Rutesh. Today we are going to explain the topic of an injury landfill site. Since many years, the management of municipal solid waste is one of the most important challenges faced by our urban and industrial societies. An injury landfill site allows final disposal of solid waste in a secure manner by minimizing the impacts on the environment. At first, the garbage is being collected from homes and then it is being collected to trucks and is sent to landfill areas. The truck being weighed and garbage being dumped into the landfill areas. After the dirt is being washed out from the trucks, the truck is being again weighed to estimate the volume of the garbage. The waste is spread out in a thin layer of the waterproof cells where they are leveled, compacted and covered periodically with soil or another inert material. Periodically covering of waste reduces odors and prevents the risks of infectious diseases. Ditches all around the site debase the surface water before it comes in contact with the waste. As for rainwater that infiltrates itself into the waste, it gets mixed with the contaminants and increases the leachate which is at the bottom of the cells and is sent to the lagoons for treatment. After a few years, the degradation of the biodegradable part in the waste produces landfill gas which is captured by the network of wells installed all over the site and is burned or converted into energy. Once final capacity is attained, we proceed with the closure of the cells by installing a cover that will favor the growth of vegetation. This shows us that the waste is not only a harmful residue, but can also become an interesting resource for the production of energy. For example, a thermal station supplied with a landfill gas produced in a landfill containing 35 million metric tons of waste to produce the necessary electricity about 10,000 homes. It is the final disposal method whose initial investment in costs are low as compared to the other methods. The land suited for lawn filling is often very limited. It requires a large surface area. It is necessary to reserve a buffer zone between the site and the neighboring residences, drinkable water sources, airports, etc. Social acceptance for the construction of these type of parks is very difficult to obtain and sometimes even impossible to here we can construct a park with many attractions like children play area, beautiful gardens, ponds, etc. These parks can be open for the public in the evening. Thank, Thank you. you.